today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a pack battle! That's right, we're pitting Theros Beyond Death against Ixalan. So let's crack the box open, brand new box here. I'm gonna grab four packs and we'll see how we do. So let's very carefully take them out of the box. So we'll grab one there. Another one here, so we'll get two from the middle and one more from the first column. All right, let's pop these back in the box and set that aside and we will get cracking momentarily. So let's see, we'll pile them up. We'll do a bit of a face off and it looks like all the dogs are uh, ready to go for Theros Beyond Death. So watch out, Ixalan. Let's see how we do. Let's crank the lighting a bit. It's always a little dark there sometimes. All right, let's get some focus. We have a Nyxborn Brute, Heliod's Pilgrim. And before I go too much further, leave your note in the comments section which one you think will be the winner today. Starlit Mantle, Nyxborn Marauder, Relentless Pursuit, Irios's Blessing, Farika's Libation, Witness of Tomorrow's Rumbling Sentry, Voracious Typhon. And by the way, this is a brand new box of Ixalan, so you know there could be anything in here. Uncommon's Dawn Evangel, Furious Rise, Sweet Oblivion, and the rare is Shadow Spear, Legendary Artifact Equipment for one. Quick Creature gets plus one, plus one, has Trample and Lifelink, and it has a uh, one, pay one, permanent to your opponent's control, lose Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. You can equip it for two. A forest and a goat token, yes! I think Theros is already a winner in my book. Anytime you pull a goat token is a fantastic time. Okay, next up, Ixalan. Looking for some dino goodness here. We have Looming Ultasaur, Queen's Bay Soldier. And these cards feel really thin and flimsy compared to the Theros. That's interesting. Fire Shrine Keeper, Pterodon Knight, Commune with Dinosaurs, Sailor of Means, Demolish, Sky March Bloodletter, Demystify, Grazing Whiptail, and Uncorn's Kite Sail, Freebooter, Sentinel Totem, Lightning Strike, and the rare is River's Rebuke. So Sorcery for six, Return All, Non-Land Permanents, Target player controls to their owner's hand. The island and merfolk token. So, so far I think Theros is in the lead. That shadow spear is pretty spicy. Let's see on the second pack here. We have Oriad of Mountains Blaze. Karametra's Blessing, Elite Instructor. Final Flare, Light Breath Katobalpar. Loadsome Chimera. Discordant Piper, that is how I play the flute. It's a rather strange approach. Gift of Strength. And if you know what this animal is, leave a note in the comments. Inspire or Final Death. And Uncorn's Reverent Hoplite. The Binding of the Titans. Sea God's Scorn. And the rare is Nyx Lotus. Yes, Theros is coming out swinging today. It's a legendary artifact for four. It enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap, choose a color, add an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color. Your devotion to a color is the number of mana symbols of that color and the mana cost of permanence you control. Love that artwork. Very great pull there. Forest and human soldier token. Oh, you've got to put the goat in its place of honor up the top here. Okay, Ixalan. So, where are the goodies, Ixlan? We need some mythics! Okay, we have Dire Fleet Hoarder, so a lot of pirates in this set. Tilanali's Knight, Looming Altasaur, Queen's Agent, Ravenous Daggertooth, Shaper Apprentice, and Merfolk as well. Grazing Whiptail, Duress, Unfriendly Fire, Ritual of Rejuvenation, Uncommon Stormfleet, Aerialist, Raider's Wake, Seeker's Squire, and rare is Fleet Swallower. Yes, Creature Fish, 6-6 six, six for 7. Whenever Fleet Swallower attacks, target player puts the top half of his or her library rounded up into his or her graveyard. And I believe, I think the combo was Fraying Sanity 
plus this to mill the opponent's entire deck. Actually did that a couple of times, it was hilarious. Okay, a mountain and a pirate token, although my opponent was none too pleased. He was swearing he was going to quit standard after that. Alright, very glad that one went off. We have Vexing Gull, Stampede Rider, Triumphant Surge, Scavenging Harpy, Loadsome Chimera, Hero of the Pride, Traveler's Amulet, Grim Physician, Thirst for Meaning, Satessin's Skirmisher, Uncommon's Farika's Spawn, Metamise Prophecy, Nessian Hornbeetle, and the rare is Phoenix of Ash. Creature Phoenix 223 with Flying and Haste pay 2 and red. It gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. Has escaped 2 and 2 red. Exile 3 other cards from your graveyard. And it escapes with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. And a Plains and a Goat. Yes, we have two goats. Put them up there. Okay, Ixalan, pull up your socks. What's going on? I thought uh, Theros would surely get beaten, but no. Okay, we have a rummaging goblin creature, Goblin Rogue, and they have these rather strange monkey-like goblins. Bishop Soldier, March of the Drowned, Blossom Dryad, Run Aground, Anointed Deacon, Pirate's Cutlass, Vanquish the Weak, Jungle Delver, and Uncommon's Emergent Growth, Sheltering Light, Merfolk Branch Walker, and the rare is Bellowing Aegisaur. Oh, that's actually a foil. So, very nice foil there. And the rare, okay, yes! Ixalan is back! Search for Azcanta, fantastic pull. They drew enchantment for two at the beginning of your upkeep. Look at the top card of your library, you may put it into your graveyard. And if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform Search for Azcanta into Azcanta the Sunken Ruin, Legendary Land. You can tap it for blue, for two and a blue, tap. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So this one was very popular back in the day, and I think it still is in Pioneer, actually. A checklist and treasure token. All right, so yes, um, did you predict this? I believe uh, Ixalan catapults into the lead there. Okay, Theros, let's see what you can do here. We have Karametra's Blessing, Elite Instructor, Final Flare, Blight Breath Katobalpa, Relentless Pursuit, Brian Giant, Irreverent Revelers, say that ten times fast. Final Death, Fruit of Tizerus, and Uncommon's Dream Stalker Manticore. Hydra's Growth, Utropia the Twice Favored, and what's it going to be? It is Nylea's Intervention. Wah, 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 wah. Sorcery for X and two green. Choose one, search your library for up to X land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, and shuffle your library. Or Nylea's Intervention, it deals twice X damage to each creature with flying. And a foil, Rumbling Sentry, with a Plains and a Zombie Token, no go to last. Okay, Ixalan, I really think Ixalan won this one, I'll have to run the numbers of course, but I think the search for Azcanta cannot be beat. Okay, we have a Bishop Soldier, March of the Drowned. Ryle, Shining Erosaur, River Herald's Boon, Prosperous Pirates, Colossal Dreadmoor, Demolish, Sky March Bloodletter, Demystify, and Uncommon's Wily Goblin Creature, Goblin Pirate. That is a thing apparently. Seeker's Squire, Bellowing Aegisaur, and the rare is Vanquisher's Banner. It's an artifact for five. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. Not bad. And a checklist and treasure token. So there we have it. Did you pick the winner today? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.